Okay, let's move on to 1.2. Okay, so in 1.2, it says the two line graphs, right? So they told you it's a line graph, so you know they're not going to ask you about whether it's a line graph or not. Below represent the average petrol and diesel prices per litre for the period 2003 to 2013. Average petrol and diesel price per litre. It's important, I'm saying it again, per litre for the period. Okay, so we see that this is what it started at and it's gone up, gone up, gone up. Okay, it's gone down sometimes, but in general, it's going up, right? So let's look at the questions. Again, the questions sometimes help us understand the information. So if you don't understand the information, don't stress. Go to the questions and it often steers you towards what you should be thinking. Use the above information to answer the questions that follow. Write down the year in which the diesel price was higher than the petrol price. Okay, firstly, let's make sure that we understand the difference, right? So the petrol is kind of the dotted one. Right, so I'm just doing that in this color so that we know which one is the petrol. The other one is then the diesel. Okay, you can color it in if you want. I'll do that just to make sure that you understand which one we are looking at. So, where is it? It's basically saying, where is the pink higher than the orange? So we see that that is in 2008. Okay, so this is literally just um, interpretation. Okay, so it is 2008. Eight. Okay, so you must be able to understand and interpret graphs. Okay, then it says, calculate the difference between the price of petrol in 2012 and in, um, and in 2004. Okay, 2012, we're looking at this price, right? Because that is petrol and we're looking at, oh, wrong year. Okay, not there, there. Okay, so we're basically going to say the difference is going to be 11.04 minus 4,31. 11.04 minus 4.31. Put that in your calculator. Minus or subtract. Our answer there is 6.73. Okay, so remember, it means something, so put in your units, right? The difference is 6 rand and 73 cents, sorry. Let me just make sure you can see what I'm writing. Okay, so it's important that we know what we're looking for, because some students would have gone and looked at the diesel price, some of them would have looked at the wrong um, year the way that I did, but make sure that you read and then interpret correctly. Okay. 1.2.3, it says determine to two decimal places, important, they told us how they want it, the unit ratio of the diesel price in 2005 to the diesel price in 2013. Now, you might be thinking, what on earth is a unit ratio? Don't stress, it just means one to something, okay? So what we're doing is we're doing the diesel price, so I'm going to say diesel price in 2005, ratio to the diesel price in 2013 okay so let's go look at it on the graph okay diesel is the pink so in 2005 we were sitting at for diesel it was 556 and what was it in 2013 it was 1248 okay so put that in so now we want to make this one, right? Because it wanted the unit ratio. So how do we get from there to one? Well, we divide by 5.56. But what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side, right? So let's do 12.48 divided by 5.56. So our unit ratio is one to 2 to 2.4, okay? Right, generally... Right, we round off to two decimal places, but in this case, they told us two decimal places. So make sure that you read the question. Okay, three marks, easy peasy. Look at 1.2.4. It says calculate the total cost of 13.45 liters of petrol in 2003. So this is the this one I circled in error earlier, but we're looking at that one now. It's four rand per liter, right? Remember, when I looked at this graph originally, I said it's important that we know the unit in which it is measured. It's per litre. So it's four rand per litre in 2003, but we're purchasing 13.45 litres. 
So we say, okay, I'm purchasing 13.45 litres and each of those litres cost four rand. So I'm going to times it by four. Then I'm going to plug that into my calculator. And that is going to give me 53 rand and 80 cents. Okay, so it's important that we make sure that we keep in our rands and we actually remember what we're doing, right? So it means if I go to a petrol station and I say, I want 13.45 liters, it's going to cost me this much. Okay, let's now look at the last question of this larger question. It says, write down the year in which the difference between the petrol price and the diesel price was less than five cents. Okay, so... Over here, we can see more than five cents, more than five cents, more than five cents. There, it's six cents, right? Because if I say this minus this, it's going to give me six cents, right? If you're not understanding what I'm saying, let's put it in our calculator. So that's the petrol price and the, and the diesel price. You'll see that that is six cents. Okay, so I'm looking over there. There, we can see it's more than six cents. Oh, there might be a good one to look at. 6.55 minus 6.51. That is four cents. So we know that it is 2007. Okay, it did say the year. So we know that there shouldn't be more than a, a one year. But let's just quickly look. Larger than five cents, larger than five cents, larger than five cents, larger than five cents. Okay, all the others are larger than five cents. So our final answer there is 2007. And that is that question done. Okay, so again, here it was graph interpretation, there was a little bit of ratios, but it was very similar actually to the first question, just a little bit more in depth. Okay, let's now go on to the next question.